My name is Cora Cervantes, and I'm a queer Latina from East Los Angeles, and I'm a journalist. I don't know if you know this about me, Alberto, but I'm a high school dropout. I, yeah, I dropped out of high school because I just didn't see, I just didn't see a pathway to college from my high school because I was undocumented because we had a high dropout rate. You know, I went to Garfield High School, Roosevelt High School, like there was high rates of teen pregnancy. I had teachers that I'd show up to class and they would just put on a video or, um, there, were, there, there was a math class where the teacher said, oh, we're not gonna cover chapter three because a lot of the books are missing pages for that one. So we're just gonna go to chapter four. That was, that's, that's the school that I went to. So it was kind of like, I have to take ownership of my education. So I told my parents, okay, crazy idea, guys. <laughs> I'm gonna drop out of high school. I'm gonna take the GED and I'm gonna go to community college and I'm gonna intern at these places. By that point, I knew I was undocumented. So I was like, okay, not only am I not receiving the quality of education that I need to be competitive here, I need to be extra competitive because I'm undocumented. So I need to not only be great, I need to be the greatest at whatever I do because I can't afford to mess up. Here's the thing, and this is what's hard for me. I remember finding out I was undocumented and I would have to come out all the time as undocumented. You know, I would tell my story. I would have my little sign and dance. And this is what you have to support undocumented students. You know, so I would come out all the time as undocumented. And I was just like, okay, I'm already a woman. I'm an immigrant. I'm undocumented. And I'm coming out as undocumented. I just did not have the emotional bandwidth to also come out as queer. Because I was still learning about it too. You know, and like I had a really meaningful relationship with this like amazing woman you know when I was 22 and she was reading a lot of books and understanding herself and so for both of us we didn't tell our parents she was more open about it I remember I brought her home to meet my parents as my friend and um, she uh, came to the house and uh, they loved her because she's amazing you know we're friends now um, but you know, then I was like nervous. I wanted, I wanted my parents to like her, like I liked her. Two years ago, when I work, started working at NBC under Yvette Miley, because it's the first time I met a woman of color with a badass job, making an impact, who has a beautiful partnership and loves her family and is there for her family and like like I see her navigate her worlds you know caring for her mom being a good auntie being a loving partner being a fierce boss and it's kind of like it was like a rug was pulled from under me it's like I knew you were out there I knew you existed but you're real and I get to work with you and I get to learn from you it was so empowering I didn't tell her I didn't come out to her until like um I think like three four months in Girl, it's gonna be amazing. <laughs> don't be afraid. And I always tell myself, like, don't operate from a place of fear. Operate from a place of joy. Operate from a place of excitement. I would remind myself and say, you know what? I know that people are like that. It gets better. It does get better, but it gets better. But you have to. It has to come from you too. And it's kind of like that. Like, don't overthink it. Don't overthink it. Accept yourself, and like, freaking rock it. Go blaze a trail, go be a badass and don't doubt yourself or think of yourself less than because your ability to embrace yourself is your secret weapon. Your ability to empathize. Like I always say, for me, empathy is my superpower. That's what it is. But I'm able to empathize because there's so many experiences I can tap into. My brother has a disability. My parents are immigrants. I'm an immigrant. I'm a Latina. I'm queer. You know, there's just so many different aspects of who I am that allow me to Whenever I interview someone for a story, when I look at them, I can say, like, I see you, I understand you. Now tell me this.